my journey, I think, uh, the, the, you know, the old days, the wild, wild west of MMA is awesome. I, I have stories of, I can tell stories of warming up in locker rooms at fairgrounds where there were chickens in the locker room. And, uh, <laughs> me too. I'm from Texas. You know, I mean, yeah, like I, like where the, I, on a couple different occasions, I had occasions, I had the actual, uh, cage break during yeah. competition, yeah. Uh, you know, and, <laughs> and stuff like that. And so, you know, shows delayed and just, um, you know, my first, one of my first, amateur f- matches not my first one but in this little show that i was f- f- uh, competing in in indiana the the guy who was running the show like his cousin was uh had a phd in philosophy and that had um kind of uh fulfilled the requirements for having a doctor on hand right that was that was their that was their medical doctor was this guy with a phd <laughs> which you know everything was going really well until i fought that night and kicked this guy in the jaw and broke his jaw in three places and they just didn't have the you know the medical team safety standards and everything that they needed at the time but i mean you know this is circa 1997 1998 time frame so um yeah, just you know, it's crazy, crazy stuff. That, that and so I, I like those experiences. I, I like going from that experience to competing in uh, I don't know seven different countries that I competed in or something like that, and yeah. seeing some really cool arenas like uh, you know arenas like O2 in Germany and and whatnot and, and headlining stuff like that to coming from where I came from. So it it makes for a really 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 cool story for me. So I I wouldn't trade it.